I needed a lot of guidance. Five Acres was able to help guide me and helped me to find who I was. I feel like Five Acres has given me a second chance at life. I feel like they're increasing chances for kids to make it. What well, brought me in this field period was just growing up in this field. Like I came to Five Acres when I was uh, 10 years old, um, lived in one of the cottages that I worked in, lived on campus for about a year and a half until I went to the group home that I'm working at now. I was in foster care for about six months to a year when I was uh, five. I lived with my parents from six till 12 days before my 12th birthday. At one point, I decided to make a call. I called social services because I knew that my mom was incapable of taking care of us. We weren't going to school, and if anything, we had a better chance of making something out of ourselves going into foster care. Well, I lived at Five Acres, so I guess that was the, the catalyst, I guess. Like, me being in Five Acres and growing up in the system kind of introduced me to this world. I started off working here in 2009 at the school for about a year. Then I uh, worked in the cottage for about two years on campus, and then I've been at the group home for the past six years. It's like a big full circle. Seeing the different staff that I encountered, you know, throughout the, my life, it kind of inspired me to be like, hey, they actually helped me. I liked the way that they approached me, and I kind of wanted to be that for somebody. We found Five Acres because I went to a Raise a Child event. Um, well, we went to it, and we sat in the front row, and we, like, literally, I, I was sobbing so loud that I distracted the speaker, and, like, he started crying. And so I really, you know, we made a splash there, and then we, like, totally ignored it and didn't go for another year. And then when we came back, um, we met with different agencies, and, um, didn't really click with the one that came to our house, but then Yvonne from Five Acres came over and just kind of changed everything. She drove an hour and a half in the rain to come and do a private introduction. You know, just laid it out. She was very direct about how many kids needed foster homes, which was 22,000 in Los Angeles. She sat across from us and she said, if you two don't do this, who will? To be honest with you, because no one understands us, yeah, I guess a lot of us choose uh, not the best way to cope. Going through the foster system is scary, and it can make you feel very alone. Very. No kid wants to feel unwanted, you know, living in a household. Some of my coworkers know that I used to live here and some of them don't. When I first got to Five Acres, that day, I sat in a quiet room and I just cried because I was like, where am I? Who are these people? Who is here to care for me? Nobody. I would say when the siblings came the first night, one of them was so small and so just needed somebody to hold her. She was just so alone in the world and the other one, wouldn't sleep. I had to stay up until four in the morning because she was afraid to go to sleep and she didn't know how to nap. We watched Sesame Street until she finally closed her eyes because she couldn't keep them up anymore. And I realized, God, this kid has been so alone. She's so scared. And that was like, oh, we can give her this. We can at least give her a place where I will stay up with her until she falls asleep. And I can do that at least. Are you crying? Yes. <laughs> That's when you know is when you cry because you love these kids so much you'll do anything for them. So having that one consistent person to show me, you know, hey, I just met you, but I care about you. They need to be able to trust that you're going to be there. That you're adults stay are good. There, that they're good, that you can connect, you can laugh yeah. together, you're going to play, and that um, you know, they can jump in your arms and feel okay. It's almost like Five Acres is like my parents. Like, almost. It's like, I just want to make them proud. I want them to be able to tell a story about it and be like, oh, that's our kid Mike. He, he made it. And so can the rest of the kids. So he's just one of the beginnings. Something somebody can do is volunteer. I mean, spend a day with the kid. 
even those few hours, like it will make a difference in that kid's life. Even if, I mean, we want you to see them again, but even if you don't, they will remember that because they need like a companion. They need somebody that cares about them, you know, spend some time with them. Donating is just huge by itself here because it gives, you know, kids a lot to experience things that they wouldn't be able to do if people didn't donate, whether it was their money or time. People don't have to donate time or money, but the people who do, you know, they deserve a great applause, you know what I'm saying? Because they don't have to do that, but they decide to do it. What you can do for foster kids is open your heart and take that first step. Five Acres can help you do that. Make the call, talk to anybody who's there, any social worker can tell you the first thing that you can do, which is even consider it. And you can give yourself that opportunity and learn what it would take. But you know you've planted that seed and somebody's gonna come by and water it, even if it's just one little drop, because eventually it'll sprout. It will. That's probably why this company thrives and, and it has been here for so long, because they continue to do stuff like that, which helps kids become successful, give them a direction, make them not feel lost. She can always come back to, my caregivers love me, they're gonna love me forever, I'm gonna be okay no matter what happens.